All right, hey, uh, let's look at another stoichiometry problem. Um, let's look at a decomposition reaction. Let's decompose, <clears throat> let's decompose potassium, potassium oxide, all right? So we're gonna decompose potassium oxide. And that'll give you potassium and oxygen. Let's balance that. It's two oxygens, put a two here and a four here, okay? All right, don't forget to look at those special case decomps. Um, there's a few of them, carbonates, bicarbonates, hydroxides, chlorates, okay? All right, so let's look at, let's look at this. Let's say we have 2.3 grams of potassium oxide, and we wanna figure out how many molecules of oxygen. So again, we start with what's given. So there's 2.3 grams of potassium oxide. We want to convert that to moles. We always want to convert what we're given to moles. So let's figure out, um, I think potassium is 39.1 times 2 plus 16 that's 94.20. So this is 94.20 grams. This reminded me that I need to wear my glasses so I can see what I'm, see this screen. Um, so that's one mole of potassium oxide. All right, those grams cancel out. Now what we can do is take advantage of this ratio. We know for every two of these, we get one oxygen. So this is, this is the new part. This is the only thing that's new in stoichiometry. So where does the two go? The two goes in the bottom. The two goes with the potassium oxide. And that's chemically equivalent to one mole of oxygen. For every two of these, we get one of those. That cancels out. We could stop here. We'd have moles of oxygen. The problem says to get molecules of oxygen. So we want to then multiply by Avogadro's number I'm gonna use that as 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, just as a little shortcut. That's one mole of oxygen. And then we'll just need to multiply, make sure we use two sig figs. Um, so let me just hit a couple buttons here. We're gonna multiply that by 2.3, and divide that by two, multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, um, and we have 7.4 times 10 to the, that's a terrible 10, 21st molecules. Okay, so let's look at this a little more carefully. Let's say I gave you molecules of potassium oxide. Well, then what you do here, you'd have to convert molecules to moles, so put Avogadro's number there, okay? If I wanted to if I wanted you to calculate the grams of oxygen, just put the molar mass of oxygen here. Don't forget, it's a half wrinkle, so it'd be 32 grams per mole. So again, this is, this is what's new. We're just using the coefficients, using the, mole, the coefficients, which are mole ratios. And um, so that's, that's um, another basic stoichiometry problem. The next videos, um, we'll look at what happens if we're given volume and molarity, volume and density. Um, we'll do a little more complicated problems, okay? Okay. Hey, thanks. I hope, hope that's helpful to you.